All right, so we're out with the AR and RDB and got an AK again. Uh, this time we're doing a 10.5 inch AR and then a 12.5 inch AK-105 just to simulate like the, uh, these are about the same length as the RDB. So we're gonna do some transitions and whatnot. We, we did some earlier, but a camera was set up bad and we had too much glare. I might be able to see the footage, might not. Keep getting sweat dripping in my eyeballs. But one thing we realized was that timing it, trying to do it like autistically scientific, doesn't quite work that well. So we came out here with some targets, just normal old A4 paper, and uh, set them up random distances, random widths apart to get some transitions going from this to like all the way out here, further, closer, just to get a good feeling of how these rifles are. So one thing about the RDB so far, about 300 rounds in before doing these drills, one screw came out of the butt plate, it's fucking gone. One screw came out of that, it's fucking gone. Went through, locked out the rest of them, took like 10 goddamn hours. Uh, show them how stiff that bolt release is if you try to use it normally. So oh. lock it open. I thought I had it locked open already. You have to do it like that. You have to come over with both yeah, hands. You can't. Try it with just that one side. Yeah, it's a real motherfucker. And then if you, if you try to charge it like this, sometimes you'll miss it, sometimes it won't come unlatched. So... And if your sling's up there, Fucking it gets in the way. Time. So we needed some sort of solution for this bolt release. The way it is right now is not okay. Um, the way the charging handle is sort of sucks. Usable, but sucks. And those two, if it's in the lock, like there's a loose position and there's a retention clip in there. And it's really hard to get in there and rip that fucker out. When it's retained, it's retained too well. When it's not retained, it's not retained well enough. So and sometimes like, it'll hop on you. you know, yeah, so. it'll it'll hop back halfway, and then you go to grab, and there's fucking nothing up there at the front. So we're already running into some problems with that. Uh, we're not gonna have timed reloads for this drill, or like planned. We're just gonna whenever the mags run empty, go ahead and reload the gun. So, I mean, the AK we don't have a red dot like the other ones, but whatever, it's a pain amount one on there anyway. So, and you can't fold it, and that's sort of the whole AK-105 meme there. So we'll go ahead and shoot those and then see how it goes. One! Three! Two! Four! Two! Three! Four! Two! One, two, three, four, one, three, two, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. My fucking camera. <laughs> Three. Three. I guess shootability wise, uh, I shoot AKs a lot, so for point shooting, I'm pretty fast on the AK but the reload is obviously slower. Uh, I think the AR did best still. Yeah. Uh, but the RDB was catching up. I think the issue with the RDB is we don't have enough time behind the gun. the best gun I think except for ballistics That's, you gotta gotta be there so I think next thing we'll do is probably accuracy maybe with some cheap ammo uh, probably some good ammo some hand loads see what kind of groupies we can get out of it 
and what kind of velocities we get with and without the suppressor. So stay tuned for probably nothing. <laughs> Indefinitely. Did you come unclipped? Yeah, that's fucking cool. Fucking hit the stand. <laughs> <laughs>